everyone, welcome to Project Life Size, it's Sunday today. This week we're talking about weight loss surgery and there's been a lot about weight loss surgery in the papers recently. Um, there was a story where Fern Britton had weight loss surgery two years ago and didn't tell anyone and people are saying that she shouldn't have made it seem like she did it all through exercise and dieting and eating healthily. Um, for a start off, I don't think that it's anyone else's business. If you, someone wants to go for weight loss surgery and has researched it all well and has tried everything else first, I don't think there's any reason why that person has to tell anybody else about their decision. If Fern um, Britain didn't want anyone else to know, it's, you know, it's her choice. And so what if people believed that it was through diet and healthy exercise? All that's going to happen from that is that people might believe that they can do that too. So I don't really see any harm would come from her, from them believing that. It's completely up to her that she chose to keep that a secret. There was a program I watched not so long ago about a gentleman who couldn't get out of bed because he was so overweight. He couldn't do anything for himself, so he had to have a, a carer all of the time, and he, and he couldn't go anywhere, he couldn't do anything. So he really didn't have a life, and he had weight loss surgery, and the results were remarkable. He, he got his life back, which is why I think this surgery is so amazing um, for some people, because it can change, change your life. Having said that, I think that with the the rise in the awareness of this surgery, the figures of people asking to have the surgery have gone up. And they said that some people, because they'd seen it on the TV and because they, they had more awareness of it, they were asking for the surgery without researching it and without trying other methods of weight loss first. And they said that this was really, really dangerous. People didn't have any kind of concept about you know, this surgery and they hadn't researched the complications that could happen, they hadn't researched anything and I think that's really, really, really bad. Um, if you if you are going to go and have the surgery, it's important to be like Crystal and, and go and research this and go and find out whether it's, it's something that you want. It scared me when I was online because I came across this um, report, government report for the UK that said that soon children could be having weight loss surgery um, and it kind of, I don't know why, it just made me feel a bit uncomfortable because they don't know how, they don't know the effects of weight loss surgery long term for, for young children and they were talking about prepubescent children here I just think that it's very 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 dangerous for children they said that 1 in 50 um, cases in surgery could go wrong with children and the risks are just so high, higher than for adults definitely. Obviously if it's a case of life and death and you know the child then doesn't have a choice which is fair enough but if if it's not then I think that I think that, that, that could be a problem. Over here in the UK NHS does pay for weight loss surgery for you if you fit a specific category. Otherwise, you have to go privately, which is so expensive. It's unbelievably expensive. And over here in the UK, I don't think that medical insurance covers it. So I think you, if you don't fit into the NHS's category, I think you have to go privately. Which I don't know whether it's a good or bad thing because in some ways that would rule out a lot of people. Um, but in other ways, I think it might rule out people who don't necessarily need it either. But on the other hand, yes, you might not fit into the ill enough category to get the weight loss surgery on the NHS. But by the time you do, it might you might have had so many complications that you might be very, very, very ill because of it. So I'm not really sure. I don't know whether I don't know how it works in the. The USA. Do you have to pay for it yourself? Do you, does your medical insurance pay for it for you? I'm not quite sure how it works. I think that if if you're going to go for the surgery, make sure that you have have really researched it well, like Crystal has, and make sure that 
it's yeah it's definitely what you want because it does have risks and you have to weigh those with the with the benefits that you get afterwards. I'll see you next week.